I always thought that art was good for me, but I really have to say I never could completely and easily say that art is good for everybody. An awful lot of artists like to trust their hands more than they trust their mind. I was at a party and this friend of mine who's uh, digitally competent, he took his iPhone out and he was doing this and he stuck the iPhone, he says, what's that? And I said, I, said, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, what's that? And I, and I says, well, it looks like a photograph of a, of a, a painting about a girl. And he says, no, that's art. He says, that's art now. And I was kind of mad at him at first, but he had a point. The ideas of having art galleries and stuff like that uh, are not what I grew up with. Yeah, the nature of art changes, uh, but, it, but it has all along. We've always worked with, with different media, and we've always adapted to the media that we had. I hate the comu computer, okay? But if, uh, if one uh, decides to tell a story with it, then the blog form uh, allows me to just put a new story up all the time. The idea was the, to produce this writing about this imaginary circus tent, and somebody just puts a circus tent out on this 200-acre uh, 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 fallow cornfield. If you look at any artist, there's always a progression in their work. Uh, I've got a bunch of people that, you know, literally from all over the world that uh, make comment, write back, like, uh, do a little, uh, you know, twi tweet to me. It, it's really kind of funny, but I've gotten really kind of fanatical about that. People need to see that some other human being has taken the time and risked a little bit to make something for them to help see the world better.